probably know or even use it Redis as a cache. But did you actually know it's much more than that? From a message broker to a graph database. Let's check it out. Before we start, I'd like to thank Brian Semboden, who is a developer advocate at Redis for kindly reviewing the content of the Medium article that was the base for this video. Thank you, Brian. Brian did a presentation on Redis OM Spring, which made me very interested in understanding and experimenting with Redis capabilities, and this is the first video of many that will soon come. My name is Rafael Deliu, and if you want to know more about Redis and listen to more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Join me in my newest adventure. Number 1. Redis is an actual database Most developers believe that Redis is a cache. However, Redis is not a cache. Redis is an actual database and it just happens to work really well as a cache. More than that, Redis is one of the most popular open source databases today and it was named the most loved database by Stack Overflow for 5 consecutive years. There is nothing preventing you from using Redis as your primary database, and besides working as a database, it also has different features that we'll be exploring later in this story. Number 2. Redis has more than one mechanism of persistence. Probably the first thing most developers think of when they think of Redis is that they will lose all their data if the instance goes down. However, that's not exactly true. Redis is a database and it just happens to be memory first instead of memory last. Although all its data is stored in memory, Redis has two ways of writing to the disk. The first one is what they call Redis Database, or in short, RDB. RDB is a persistence mechanism that performs point-in-time snapshots of your data from time to time. You can set it to execute every 5 minutes, for example. And the second one is what they call Redis Append-Only File, or in short, AOF. AOF will track and log every command executed on the server, and then these commands can then be replayed and recreate the database to a previous state. While restarting your database with RDB is much faster, you might lose minutes of data. On the other hand, AOF is more reliable but slower to restart your database since it needs to go through all commands ever executed. Although you can enable only one of them, both of them or none of them, Redis recommends that you have both turned on to get the best of both worlds. Redis is super fast. As you already know, all data in Redis is stored in memory. Accessing data in memory is much faster than accessing data in disk. An operation in Redis takes less than a millisecond, which is a great performance advantage. Accessing 10,000 records from the disk would take an average of 30 seconds to run, while accessing the same number of records from memory would take 0.0002 seconds to run. Redis database supports millions of operations per second, which means it's a super fast read and write system. One could still think that if this is stored in memory, it means we could easily lose all our data, but as you saw previously in this video, that's not exactly true. Number 4. Redis has flexible data structures One of the problems with simplistic key value databases is that if developers store anything more than simple key values, they will end up doing work on the client side. For example, deserializing and reserializing JSONs or splitting and rejoining lists. Redis mitigates this issue by offering flexible data structures that enable you to develop applications with fewer lines of code. These data structures avoid the overhead associated with translation between applications objects to database entities. Among these data structures you can find strings, lists, sets, hashes, streams, and others. Number 5. Redis has a built-in primary replica architecture. Like any other process, the Redis process might be queued for every reason which can cause our data search to be unavailable while the process is being restarted. To prevent downtime, Redis has a built-in primary replica architecture that not only allows Redis to recover faster from downtime, but also improves read performance. When the main process is killed, one of the replicas becomes the main, and when the original main process is restarted, then it's re-instantiated as the main and the temporary main goes back to being a replica again. Number 6. Redis is popular and open source. As mentioned previously, Redis is super popular, and although it's not the first most popular database, it was elected the most loved database by Stack Overflow for 5 consecutive years, which means most developers don't actually know how powerful Redis can be. And besides being super popular, it's also open source, which means it has a big community around it and it's very well documented online. Number 7. Redis has transactions. 
Different from other NoSQL databases that support transactions only on the document level, Redis can run a series of commands in a single transaction. All the commands in a transaction are serialized and executed sequentially. A request sent by another client will never be served in the middle of the execution of a Redis transaction. And this guarantees that the commands are executed as a single isolated operation after the exact command is triggered. To start a transaction, the user needs to trigger the multi command, and although Redis doesn't support rollbacks, it has a very similar feature triggered by the discard command, which will discard any commands queue to be executed. And Redis even supports optimistic locks by using the command watch. By using this command, Redis will fail the transaction in case there are race conditions and another client modifies the result in the time between our call to watch and our call to exact. Did you know Redis supported transactions? Let me know in the comments. Number 8. Redis is a message broker. Redis is not only a database, it's also a message broker. Redis supports typical pub sub operations such as publish and subscribe. Publishers publish messages to a channel or multiple channels, and subscribers subscribe to one or more channels. One thing to bear in mind is that it works very similarly to a radio broadcast. You are able to listen to a station while you're turned into it. However, you're incapable of listening to any message broadcasted while your radio is off. Redis Pub Sub will only deliver messages to connected subscribers. This means that if one subscriber loses connection and this connection is restored later on, it won't receive nor be notified about any messages it might have missed. Therefore, it limits use cases to those that can tolerate potential message loss. Number 9. Redis is supported by Spring. If we're using to implement in code with the Spring framework, we have good news. It is also supported by the Spring framework. There are currently two solutions well developed for this matter. One is Spring Data Redis, developed by Spring. And the other one is Radio M Spring, which is maintained by Redis and built on Spring Data Redis as well. Do you use the Spring framework? Let me also know in the comments down below. Number 10. You can extend its functionality with modules. And this is the icing on the cake and probably the coolest of this list. Redis modules extend the functionality of Redis by using libraries that you run on top of Redis. Modules enrich Redis with core data structures and modern data models. Let's check a few of them. Redis Time Series Time Series databases are great for large ingestion and matrix analysis. Redis Time Series adds a Time Series data structure and features to Redis that you can find in other Time Series databases like querying by start date, end date, and also aggregation functions like max, min, sum, and average. What you cannot find in other Time Series databases though is the low latency read and high volume inserts that Redis can provide. Redis Graph Graph databases are trending right now. They represent an ideal solution for storing data and connecting relationships between data much more effectively than traditional relational databases. And Redis already has a module for that. Redis JSON. With the Redis JSON module, Redis can store native JSON type data, through which it can easily access various attributes in JSON similar to MongoDB. Redis Search. Redis Search is a full-featured search engine that provides secondary indexing, full text search, and a query language for Redis. These features enable multi-field queries aggregation, exact phrase matching, and numeric filtering for text queries. According to a benchmark run by Redis, they found Redis Search to be 58% faster on indexing and 4 times faster when performing two-word searches on the indexed dataset in comparison to Elasticsearch. Those modules that were described are maintained by Redis itself. However, the coolest thing is that anyone can write new modules to Redis, and you can find a list of available modules in the link that I will leave in the description of this video. Redis is much more than a simple memcache, and by watching this video you'll not only learn that Redis is an actual database, but also many powerful capabilities that it provides. My name is Rafael Delio, and I talk about software development. I hope you have enjoyed this video, I will be diving more into Redis on the following ones, so don't forget to follow me and subscribe to my channel. You can also find links to my social networks and my Medium page in the description of this video. See you around!